sorry, there was a slight disruption. It cut off. I like it. But I don't call this cold beef. What, what, what would you call this beef? Mm hmm. Carlos. It's nice, though. You like it? Mm hmm. What you like the more with the ranch, ketchup, or. But I know mustard and beef go together really well. When you come down, I have to get you some sweet beef bagels. Nah, how'd that go? What is that? It's like this. Mm -hmm. The mustard mm -hmm. and the bagel. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. You like that? No, wait. What was we talking about earlier that. Oh, rice, the egg rice. They don't have egg fried rice. Mm -hmm. Rice is not in the shirt. They might have it other places. I, I never heard of it. <laughs> but it's not like chicken fried rice and shrimp fried rice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But not just plain egg fried rice. Mm -hmm. And if they do, I don't know about it. <laughs> I do not know about it. Well, we have egg fried rice, which is just right, rice and egg. You. Which is for more like people like you, the picky eaters. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just egg and rice and some soy sauce. I'll upset anyone. Period. I think I would like that because of the soy sauce. Yeah. Well, I think it's, yeah, it's soy because that's what makes it go brown. Mm -hmm. yeah. Being the fact that I love rice anyway, coming from my heritage, so. Pretty sure. Caribbean, or as you would say, Caribbean people, we love rice. Caribbean. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, Caribbean people say Caribbean as well. Do they? Yeah. I always say Caribbean. Mm. Okay. I was English, I say Caribbean. Okay. So I wasn't wrong. <laughs> uh, We will play music, but we don't get it, want to get what monetized. Yeah, demonetized. I don't even got mon I'm not monetized anymore anyway. Okay. But you still get copyright strike. Right. So what right we'll here. do? I'll really uh, ask my baby daddy, real nice, to give me some new music. Period, boo. Because I'm sure you guys are tired of all the old instrumentals. You want some more? Uh, yeah, I got people. Please, sir, can I have some more? That's how you pick all people from England sound. And it's how you know. No, we do not. That's the thing that gets what it does. Whatever America tries to do, English accent sounds like Oliver Twist. But they do wrong. They do. do. Right now, you think I sound like Oliver Twist? <laughs> I actually don't know what the answer <laughs> yeah. you know I mean? Actually, I can't say that because I was so excited. Because basically, when I came here, but she, oh, I caught two flights. Uh -huh. So I stopped in um, New, York, New York. I had to change terminals because yeah. obviously that was a domestic flight and I had come from an international one, which was uh -huh. fine. But I've never been to JFK Airport before. So I had to ask the police officer. I was like, excuse me, officer, we train to terminal or whatever one I have to go to. And then he was talking to me and I was so excited because he had like a proper thick New York accent. I was like, I kept telling it here. I think it's like the movie. Yeah, that's what you think. Oh, anyway, that is the thing. That is the thing. Every time. Everything is a... Uh, because I watch American movies. It's on the movie. Everything. Everything. The two people keep saying it's, it's like the movies and it's so big. But everything is so big. Everything is huge like to her. So I got a picture at the intersection with the traffic lights and the road signs. Uh -huh. Like the movies. <laughs> that is too funny. That is too funny. Because you always say, it's like the movies. <laughs> it is. Well, you got excited when I showed you the, the, the red bus on my balcony. Yes. So it's the same for me. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another thing she said properly. I'm, I'm stuck. I'm just starting to use that too now. Properly, you don't say properly. You say with everything. 
like that's not a thing. Properly is not a word. No, it is a word. But it's a word, but it's not. Not a thing. like you don't use it like every day. No. So what do you say? Like you gonna say do it properly? What would you say? Depend on what we talk what about. We're talking like about. so, just like you was like you, we proper like we cross the street properly. Yeah, you don't know, say that. That's not. That's I did not. not I didn't know. Not a thing. I didn't know it's that. Well, at least you guys knew the word. You didn't. Yeah, we because that's something that we know that y'all use. Like we, we don't we. <laughs> We in the ghetto. Jesus. <laughs> 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 Everything here is the ghetto. I swear. It's not. It's not. It she was like to me, okay, Jay, we're driving to the ghetto. I'm like, this looks normal. London's got ghettos too. I believe it. Everywhere should have a ghetto. Child, no. That's because there's poor people everywhere, so that's going to be a ghetto. Yeah. I think. The key of to surviving in any ghetto all around the world is just mind your business. Period. <laughs> you, mind the business and patience. If you mind your business, you'll be fine. You'll be okay. Because that's the thing when everyone's like, like, oh my God, it's so violent, like it's a shooting. You know? These people that get shot and stuff, stabbed 90% of the time, they know why. It wasn't just a random person that was minding their business. Right, they right. They was involved, involved in all the madness. <laughs> So that's why I don't be scared because I know I'm not involved in anything. Oh wait, what was it that you said? I know that I'm taken care of, but I know I mind my business. <laughs> yes. What, what anything? We we went to the strip club, right? Oh my god, yes, yes. Because it was on my bucket list again because of the movie. So oh, it got to do with the movie, y'all. Because it's not my fault. You have Hollywood, and you make a lot of movies. Okay. Anyway, I wanted to experience American strip club, which I did. And to be honest, I feel like it's just like a normal club with girls dancing. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so I went there and kicked off, or popped off for her. But for me, I'll say yeah. kicked off. Popped off. Um, it was all of a sudden. It was just like a scene from World Star. I see some girl <laughs> get punched in the head. So me, I'm looking for safety. Like we were with our boyfriend and his friend. And then I see that, I'm like, okay, let me go hide behind the man. <laughs> but then when I try to make my way to her boyfriend, there's, there's a fire over here. <laughs> it all happens <laughs> I didn't, so I didn't fast. happen so fast because we was just there. We had a couple shots. We were just dancing, yeah, talking, yeah, to the, yeah. talking to the girls that were dancing. We were, it was and fine. We were having we, a nice time. Next thing is just, next fight week, broke up. Oh. That was it. And every that side of the place. And of course me. Me, I was minding my business. Her Should boyfriend we, said, come up. I, I was there. And see me, I was on the other, I was the opposite side. I'm, I'm in that She's game. like, what's I'm going like, on? What's up? What's up? What's up? Like, but at the whole, the whole moral of the story is because my yes, niece I, worked there. I mind my business. My niece worked there. So the first thing, I'm Jay, Jay, where's Jay, where's Jay? But once she knew where I was, it was where's her niece. Yeah, but anyway, she, that was fine. But the moral of the point I was trying to make, well, when it pops off, Jay is minding her business. Her business. <laughs> <laughs> so. I was minding my business in theirs too. Obviously, <laughs> yeah. I was trying to make sure they were straight. That's it, that's all. That's it, that's all. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, that's my But other than so that, it has been cool. You did a bucket list. You have I'm fun. Pick something off my bucket list. And yeah. I'm getting through my places to eat. So I still need to eat um, Popeyes. Yes. I'm doing the seafood. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to squeeze it in, but it's getting squeezed in because I want Popeyes. I might try American Starbucks just to see if it's different. But other than that. Bucky's. See, they call it Starbucks. You call it Bucky's. Yeah, it's called Starbucks. But we say Bucky's. But that's what it says when you sign. But it's Bucky's. <laughs> See, oh, she just gotta and be- she like and she likes uh what's it called huh. from Buffalo Wild Wings. What's the sauce? She likes oh, spicy, spicy garlic. Gar- it tastes like Nando's. Oh, oh, oh no, we're oh, using it. We're using it to. Put, put the no, I, it's in the fridge. We gonna go in the refrigerator real quick. But anyone from England watching, it just tastes like Nando's sauce because. She was telling this me is it. how I went like when we were talking before. She's like, you need to try this spicy garlic with spicy garlic. I tried it, like it is nice, but it just Nando sauce. Yeah, and I don't. She I don't, don't know, know about Nando, so yeah. she needs to come visit me. Mm-hmm. 
that obviously we're both not working i'm on maternity leave but in, um, america don't have that issue here so she's just gonna wait to you know she feels a bit better you know because <clears throat> you know our headspace like now yeah we're talking mm -hmm. we're fine but we still have our we up have and down, yeah. yeah. So she's like, she, and I want to spare us out. I want, that's what I said. That's what I've always said. Like, I want to just go nuts at work because yeah. something just like touches me the wrong way. Or just whatever. a trigger. Yeah, it just triggers me. So yeah. I'll just well, let me take my time. So I should be going back to work in March, and then when she's ready, she's or oh, she started looking for jobs now, haven't you? Well, yeah. Till the right one comes up. Yeah, of course. We need that. Cause she needs to save to come to London. Cause obviously really? I've been getting paid not a lot, but I I've got a little. At least I've got a little bit of income. So that's how I managed to come here. And that's it. I think that's the end of our mukbang. We finished our food. I just yeah, I'm done at this point. I just got sauce left. I still got. I hope you enjoyed this video. We haven't. I don't even nice know how to meet in the fistas. To know that you never know nobody's story. Yeah. You never know nobody's story, you know. I bet I feel like as well, like for us, like obviously we're talking about because it it's key to the story of how we met. met yeah. But it's not something that like every time I see someone, I tell them because it's like it's a deep conversation. Yeah, it's not it something you can yeah. So like um because I've been going into work like now and then once a week randomly because you have these things called keeping in touch days. Yeah. So some people be like, oh my god, Jerry, I haven't seen you for ages. I'm like, yeah, I'm on maternity leave. I have the baby. Like, oh my god, what did you have? Oh boy, yeah. congratulations. And I'm like, yeah, thanks. I'm back because we don't need to go into the whole detail about what happened. Yeah. And all that. yeah. So um, we are the walking witnesses of we in a whole nother country. Yeah. So she traveled all the way here. We FaceTime every day, literally. We all every, phone every, all day. We are day. gamers. I got her <laughs> shirt yeah, oh, we, we didn't even tell them the story about us, how we gamers, okay? I'm a gamer. She is not. I'm, but she I is old. now. <laughs> I like, I'm always like games, but I haven't been playing them much as recently. Mm -hmm. But it's like helping, like, I think for both of us, it helps, like, take our minds. Our mental, yeah. Yeah, minds off of, like, everything else. So just yeah. to focus on games. So we play Uno, we play PUBG, we play Funky Bay. Funky Bay. What's the new one you got us on to trade? Uh, anyway, let me not shout out these games. I don't get no sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, let's wrap it up. Hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you like mukbangs because I like to eat, so recording whilst I do it is not a problem.